Hey everybody, it's Allison Dorman here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that you can use for a sport, but that people also use to maybe go to the pool, to maybe explore something in nature, and maybe just have a little bit of fun. So something big is coming to our area and it's gonna tie all of these topics together. If you can guess what it is, drop that in the comments right now. Tell me what your guess is. <laughs> So let's just chat for a minute about why golf carts have become so popular in neighborhoods that don't even have golf courses. So you can see, I'm gonna kind of flip around in a minute, but over here is um, an elementary school. And a lot of these master plan communities, which are a big thing happening in the North Texas area right now, because everybody wants community. They're longing for that sense of community and they want everything kind of right in where they live. So you're gonna see lots of these new master plan communities that already have elementary schools and middle schools even kind of built into the master plan. They have lots of great amenities with pools and walking trails and um, just all kinds of different things within the neighborhood itself. And so with that, these neighborhoods are really really spread out um, and some of them are you know like a thousand acres and stuff and so that is a far distance to travel if you just want to ride up to the pool or if you just want to go pick your kid up from um, from school not everybody wants to hop in their car and do that um, gas mileage wise and just convenience wise and so one of the things you'll see um, at the end of the day is this becomes full this parking lot over here is full of golf carts with parents who just pop up here to pick their kids up from school not gonna be um, as a kid it's so fun to get picked up on your golf cart because you can just kind of get the breeze and you just feel it's just kind of fun it's like a ride so um, not only is it convenient for the parents but it's also just fun for the kids and um, it's just a great way again if you're just making a short trip to come take your kids to school you still get to see your neighbors you don't feel like you're all inside your car you kind of get to wave and, and say hey to everybody but it's a lot more convenient to just do that and then head back home than it is to take your whole car all the way up here. So that's one of the reasons why the golf carts are a cool trend right now. So we talked about golf carts. People love to use them when they're taking their kids to school or when they're heading up to the pool. I didn't even mean to rhyme, but I did. But some other conveniences of having a golf cart, whether you have kids or not, um, over here on this side to me, and I'll pan you around in a minute, is the playground. Again, parking up here, a lot of people just want to come up to the playground and they just wanna enjoy kind of a pleasant ride. A lot of these neighborhoods right now, we talked about have beautiful trails. And so you can kind of enjoy nature a little bit more, even if you're riding your golf cart up to these places. And then you can take your kids to the playground. You can see behind me, there's also a beautiful um, lake in this neighborhood and there's camping spots and things like that. So um, people like to do the golf carts because they can kind of feel like they're outside. They feel a little bit less like they're loading up a car and coming up here. Um, and you can just easily pop from one place to the next. Um, you saw in, some, in our video how um, some of these have crazy fun lights and the LED lights and party lights and then they have stereos and coolers and so people also use them. They'll just park in somebody's driveway and everyone's kind of hanging out or if they get up to the basketball courts um, or they're just kind of, you know, hanging out in the cul-de-sac and they want some music and they want some lights just kind of for atmosphere and vibe then they'll just turn on their golf cart let the music play and um you know like let the lights go on and it just makes it fun for the kids it can make it fun for the adults whoever you can just kind of enjoy it it kind of just gets again it's just a fun vibe and it also is a little bit practical at the same time so um you'll see all kinds of different levels of golf cart fun but um People like to personalize them or they like to leave them plain, just kind of depending upon their own personality and their own use. But the golf cart craze is pretty fun, pretty cool, and it's just gonna continue in this area. So there's lots of neighborhoods that, um, that have them and allow them. And um, if you want a list of that, you can just drop a, a comment below and reach out and I'm happy to share that with you. Okay, so one of the things that a lot of people ask for are fun LED lights and party lights. So you turn this one on for me to show us obviously it's not nighttime oh check it out that's so awesome so yeah you're riding around your neighborhood or you parked and y'all are listening to music and hanging out then that's really awesome behind me you can see this is one of the resort style pools that's in this master plans community and again that's such a common thing that we're seeing in new construction in the north texas area are master plan communities people want that and builders are listening and so it's really cool to see them just develop and grow as communities but because of that with these uh, the, the pools if you've ever taken yourself 
all your towels if you have kids or you're bringing kids with you whether they're grandkids or just visiting with you um, it's a lot so instead of having to fill up your car and drive all the way up to the pool it's so much easier and so much more fun just to hop on your golf cart and so again you'll see parking spots up here will be filled with golf carts and um, just pool toys and everything because it's so much easier to drive and park and find parking spots in the lawn than it is necessarily to find parking spots for the pool. So um, just a lot of the resorts style pools and everything that are sprouting up in these new master plan communities are also great for the golf cart community vibe because people can just load them up and hop up and head to the pool and it's not as big of a deal as it is to take up your car. So, you know, cars get hot in the sun. Obviously they use a lot more gas and things like that. So taking your golf cart, again, you get the breeze, less gas mileage, and it's just easier to load everybody up and go. So you can have way more fun at the pool and enjoy that. So here's a little bit of the information that I got from Rob and his crew at Excessive Golf Carts. They seriously, I think, are the maybe top guys in this area. Their um, warehouse is huge and it's about to expand. And I think they're about to be one of the largest golf cart um, producers, again, for customization golf carts um, in maybe even Texas. We'll have to check on that, but they're amazing. So they were talking to me about what it, what it takes to have a golf cart in a neighborhood. So basically in Texas, the law states that you can drive a golf cart um, as long as it's street legal on the streets. So what makes it street legal is you've got to have a um, speed limit of 35 miles per hour or less in the daytime. You've got to have um, within two miles of the storage area. So obviously you're not trekking your golf cart all over the city. It just kind of stays within that two mile radius of where it's housed. And then um, you have to have a Texas driver's license, a standard Texas driver's license. It's got to have insurance, just like you know any vehicle would. And then it's got to have that little orange triangle that designates that it's a slow moving vehicle on the back. So following the traffic laws, following the Texas transportation code, totally fine to have a street legal golf cart in these communities. Yay. You've seen that some of these golf carts are used for golf and really a lot of the uses for what we're talking about today are not golf. So you can see it's so fun to take the golf cart up to the pool. It's so fun to take the golf cart on a little nature ride. A lot of the master plan communities have all these trails that you've heard me talking about. So I met with the owners of one of the biggest golf cart um, companies in our area and I learned so much. More than I can even fit into this video. Might have to make a separate video just for that. But excessive golf carts taught me so many cool things about how they're made, what their processes, how they personalize them. Some of the most common things that people ask for, obviously LED lights and a good stereo. Some of them are even customized to their favorite sports team, to, as y'all saw, maybe like Lamborghini, whatever. Um, and then some of them, you know, are just like something that means something to the family or the owners. So there's lots of ways that you can kind of really own your golf cart, if you will. And that way you can find it in the parking lot, right? But they were so wonderful to help me tell me about some of the top neighborhoods around this area that they send a lot of golf carts to. Okay, so you got a sneak peek about some of the top um, communities in this area that use golf carts. Again, a few of them for golf, but most of these are for kind of the extra things around the master plan community that the golf cart can be great for. So you saw Light Farms, Windsong Ranch, Trinity Falls, Whitley Place, Stonebridge Ranch, the Tribute, Mustang Lakes, and there's many more on the way. We've got the PGA headquarters coming to our area soon. And so golf and golf carts are just going to be a thing here for a long time, which is exciting. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel because that's exactly what we're going to be checking out next week. And we have a list of the neighborhoods that have golf carts in this area. So make sure you reach out and I'm happy to send that to you. As always, we love helping people settle into the North Dallas area. So if you are someone who is looking at moving here or know someone who's thinking about moving here, then make sure you give them my information and connect so that I can be that resource for you. Bye, guys.